اللهم يا قاصم الجبابرة وكاسر الأكاسرة اللهم دمر كل ساحر وساحرة الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد أكرم من سئل الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراج المنيرة This is a reminder for me and for those who are believers This reminder is very important because there are some people who have got problem with their sleep they've got erratic sleeps and they wake up and they sleep they wake up they sleep this islam allah has brought for us a solution there is always solution in anything in the deen of allah rabbul izza stay tuned all the way to end through the end to listen to the solution of the your sleeps your erratic sleeps waking up it will stop her permanent allah has chosen night allah has chosen days better days allah has chosen laylatul qadr to be the best night allah has chosen yawmul jum'ah to be one of the best days and one yawmul jum'ah has chosen time where you call upon him dua you make dua that your dua has been answered on wednesday between asr and dhuhr the time when you call your dua has been answered on friday between maghrib and asr you call upon allah allah answer your dua in the night in the day of laylatul qadr your mom your dad making dua for you allah answers your duas these is this is why it's so special our religion alhamdulillah thumma alhamdulillah for allah making me a muslim there are people out there who struggle there are people out there who cannot even find these old days and old nights or find these nights to wake up and pray to allah and to remove their problem they can't they struggle they are struggling but they can't you'd be surprised why but the individual needs to look deep down in himself and look does he have a disease or not if he has a disease then he needs to solve that disease he needs to remove that disease from his heart he needs to run towards allah allah says fafirru ila allah allah rabbul izza says wa qala rabbukum ud'uni astajibu lak allah says call upon me and i will answer you now you have to call upon allah you have to find these times you have to manipulate your life you have to force your life to find these old nights or old days or old timings for you to call upon allah so allah answers your dua one of it is in the night no waking up in the night and praying salat hajj no while you are asleep while you are asleep allah made it easy for us muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam hadith bukhari an ubaida ibn samat an nabiy allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qal man ta'arra min al-layl fa qala la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir alhamdulillah wa subhanallah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah thumma qala allahumma aghfir li the one who wakes up in the night erratically he wakes up huh? and he was woken up by the devil the devil was sent either through seher either through evil eye either the devil come just and oppressing him he forgot to read ayatul kursi or this happens to him irregularly and he doesn't have no solution he's afraid even to go to sleep he go sleeps one or two hours he wakes up and he just he doesn't know what to do this is the solution The solution is you have to live upon la ilaha illallah you have to live upon la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you have to live upon alhamdulillah subhanallah allahu akbar this is the solution the solution is muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says whoever wakes up from the sleep scared or just random wake up sudden wake up in the night in the night not in the day in the night and you say the dua which dua 
لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير and then you add الحمد لله and then you add سبحان الله and then you add لا اله الا الله and then you add الله اكبر and then you add لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله and then you say اللهم اغفر لي oh you don't even say اللهم اغفر لي and you call upon Allah that time and then you go and make wudu you pray salah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when you call upon Allah on that time Allah answers your dua if you go to make wudu and pray Allah accept your salah now if you call upon Allah that time and the shaitan is giving you headache the mal'oon kafir is giving you headache you call upon Allah to destroy him and remove him you do it frequently wallahi thumma wallahi you will sleep in peace Once you do it for few days you will see yourself the difference hold tight on it but you won't be able to do it until you live upon la ilaha illallah you live upon la ilaha illallah you live upon alhamdulillah you live upon subhanallah you live upon allahu akbar you live upon la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you are frequently say of these words in another word then you will be able to wake up from your sleep and say this word straight away when you wake up because straight away when you wake up and remember Allah is in a different level we ask Allah to give us this level we ask Allah to give this to us and the believing men and women we ask Allah to give us iman and to make us strong in our iman this is the solution and you stay tuned for more inshallah like the video share the video This was a video about sudden wake up, erratic sleep. Abu Yahya from the Rukhid Talk. Wa akhru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.